Five at five, a child advocacy group says they're pushing to get Alabama kids what they need as the legislative session starts in Montgomery. Leaders with Children First tell us they're asking for funding to combat vaping and to help children in foster care. Bria Chapman is live at five after talking with the organization about their priorities. Yeah, Morgan, that's right. So last year, Children's First went to legislation, went into legislation to ask for more stricter laws for things that candies that were being disguised as drugs. Some of the kids' favorite candies and snacks were being disguised as drugs, and it passed. Now this year, they're headed back to ask for stricter laws surrounding vaping and children, but also get resources and support for children that are in foster care. Now, Executive Director Katie Jeter says they established their Children's Trust Fund bill more than 20 years ago and every year during the legislative session they bring it back to lawmakers to address issues children in our state are facing now right now one of the biggest areas Jeter, areas Jeter wants to highlight is vaping and the dangers surrounding it for children she also wants to get see more assistance when it comes to mental health health and also for grandparents or family members who take in children who lost their parents because of drugs Oftentimes they're on a fixed income or they might be on Medicare and it's really, really expensive. I mean, as we know, to raise children, we think that opioid funds should support grandparents um, who are raising their grandchildren and other maybe next of kin who are raising children that might not be blood related to them. Because if, if you didn't know, if a grandparent takes in a, a grandchild, they receive nothing from the state to help care for that child. And along providing for those issues, they also say that their goal is to make sure lawmakers understand laws when they present them about children. They're there to help them tweak it to make sure all children in our, in our area, in our state, have what they need in order to become successful adults. Reporting live in Hoover, I'm Bria Chapman, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.